I mean like what um, has been mentioned um, I think it's Mano Grant who actually was detained under ISA he also contested but he was actually in Kamunting so there is no, no law to say that you have to be there as a candidate but um, but if you are contesting you know then at least uh, your responsibility is really this is actually about your responsibility towards the voters um, not being at the nomination day is one thing but not campaigning and being in the house uh, and doing the campaigning are two different things you know because I think I feel that voters need to see the candidate and know what is like what doc, uh, Dr. Toh has mentioned what are your policies well, how are you going to improve Palakangsa <coughs> if you become the member of parliament what would be the the <coughs> additional uh, added value that you would want to bring to Kuala Kangsa. So people must see you, must uh, know and, and understand you know, um, what you are standing for. But if you say that you are going to contest and uh, do the online campaign and all that, I think it's limited. Lah. So it's limited. But I also ask, you know, um, I'm for definitely women's political participation, but it's also like, are there no other candidates who are able to also um, take up this challenge? Yeah. So that would be your question. Yeah, why, why pressure her to take on this uh, contest when she's actually going through a period of grief? Don't tell me there are no other women candidates to actually contest. Even if uh, Barisan National were to go and campaign, it has to be on her policies. Mm -hmm. Up to now, I don't know what are her policies. Only the sympathy that we are getting, that seems to be the mm -hmm. message. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I haven't heard of the policies from the candidates yet. Okay. From both sides, from both sides. On the sympathy note, you do you feel strongly that that is the message that the, that the VN <coughs> Commission is trying to put out by placing her there? Um, I, I feel, uh, yeah, definitely there is that sympathy. Mm -hmm. la. But uh, I, I also believe that, you know, um, given her background, if it had not been because of this uh, grieving period, she's a lawyer. And I think she has that capability to take on the contest. So um, it, it's, it should be highlighted, you know, what is she bringing to Kuala Kangsa, the merits of it. Um, and I think that, you know, uh, voters, I'm sure voters are wise enough to judge. <laughs>